In this video, I'll show you how to shadow properly to improve your English or any language that you are aiming to improve. And also, I'm going to tell you what is really important when it comes to shadowing. Then let's get started. 안녕하세요. What's up guys, it's 7J. You know, shadowing is one of the good ways to improve your English. And so many people have told you, you need to do that to improve your English, right? So today I'm going to show you and tell you this. Why is shadowing good to improve your English? And the things that you need to consider when you mimic the sound, when you mirror what you listen to. And lastly, I'll show you how I shadow. You already know shadowing is really good to improve your pronunciation and intonation. But actually on top of that, it's really good to improve your vocabulary. I mean, it's really good to expand your vocabulary. I think shadowing really helps us memorize vocabulary or expressions very naturally before you know it. So that is why I think we need to shadow to improve our English. Before starting shadowing, there are things that you need to consider. Choose the proper material. Let's say you are an advanced level learner, but you use the material for beginners. Then what would happen? You wouldn't be able to learn anything. Because you already know all the expressions already. Maybe you can improve your pronunciation or intonation because you are listening to the English audio file, right? But that's all. And vice versa, if you are a beginner, totally beginner, but then just you choose the material like CNN News or BBC News, then it would be the same. You wouldn't be able to learn anything. And also, in this case, you cannot learn, um, you cannot improve your pronunciation and intonation as well because you can mirror what you listen to. So choose the proper material. I personally think if you listen to something and then you can understand more than 70 to 80%, then it would be great to shadow. Don't be shy and don't be a robot. I think English is more rhythmical language than Korean. So please don't be a robot like, oh, I don't think so. What do you think about it? Hey, how are you? Like that. Just Put an effort into mirroring what you listen to exactly the same as much as you can. Then you will get natural pronunciation and intonation. So please don't be shy. Use your earphones. This is a personal recommendation. I just prefer to use earphones when I shadow because um, I listen to the audio file and then right away I have to say those expressions out loud, right? Then which means Actually, I can hear my sound. I can hear what I'm saying and it disturbs me. So I like just using the earphones. Shadow one material again and again for at least one week. I know it sounds so cliche, but that's true. That's the key. So many people say in order to improve your English, you should watch one video, one movie, one TV show again and again, over and over again, right? So that's the key. That's true. So it works. That's why so many people say that. But the movie for two hours and one TV show at least 45 minutes, I can't do that. Actually, one of my hobbies is to rewatch one movie over and over again. But then when it comes to learning English, watching it again and again. No, I can't. I can't do that. So I recommend you use um, podcast like less than 25 minutes. So I prefer to use podcast as my shadowing material. And in my previous video, I already recommended five podcasts to improve your English and Japanese at the same time. So um, if you are interested, uh, please check it out. I will link down below or here are the card here. <laughs> All right, anyway, so um, I'm saying that choose one material less than 25 minutes and then just keep doing it, keep shadowing that material again and again for at least one week. So, for example, you shadow that material twice a day in the morning and at night or using your commuting time twice a day, keep doing it, and then for one week, which means you shadow one material for 
awake 14 times, right? Then what would happen? Just you will get new expressions very naturally and you will use those expressions before you know it with the proper pronunciation and intonation. Cool, right? <laughs> so keep doing it again and again, just that's the key. I mean, just one material for a week. All right, it's time to show you how I shadow. I chose two materials. One is Qlips ESL podcast and the other one is 6 minute English. And as you can hear, as you can see, my English sounds quite Americanized, right? Which means I'm so used to listening to and speaking with American English, American accent. But today, um, I'm going to show you how to shadow with the material with British accent as well. <laughs> All right, first, Qlips ESL podcast. And I already told you I prefer to use earphones, but then just right now, I need to show you how to shadow properly, right? So this time, I'm not going to use earphones and you will um, see and you will hear how to shadow. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, Andrew, so, okay, Andrew in, this episode, in this episode, we are going to talk about, to talk about how, to how to refuel your car, your car and have a talk and about, that, a talk about in that in English. Ooh. Ooh. We can a visit to the we gas can station. We can visit to the ga like gas it. station like it. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, where well, I guess this is something where I guess, is something I guess everyone needs to do, right? To do, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're like Unless you're me, like me you don't really drive if you don't very drive often. very often. Yeah. yeah. Or... All right. That was the thing that I'm really used to listening to. I mean, the American English, but this time I'm going to shadow the British English, the six minute English. <laughs> Well, Do you know what will lower so much hair, team? Isn't it Isn't because, it, because it, allows it allows us to sweat, to sweat more easily? This, meant we this means we don't hot get so hot and tired. We can run faster, and, faster and, and longer and catch more animals to eat. Hmm, that sounds, hmm, like that a, good sounds a good theory. But Do you have a theory on how many hair for flocos? What's a hair floco? Hair floco is an organ to produce a hair underneath the skin. And if you've reached a certain age, it means oh my you gosh. aren't young anymore. You could see a lot of pauses I made and you would do it. But what I did was that I didn't stop the audio. I mean, I didn't stop, I didn't pause the audio file. So don't pause your audio file as well. Just keep going it because you will use this one material for at least one week. So at the end, you will catch whole script. You will get new expressions. So don't worry about it. Don't hustle up. And adding on to that, if you think the audio file is too fast to follow, then use some specific applications or softwares to change the speed and keep practicing it. All right, if you like this video, please click like button down there and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.